probably one of the biggest and most important updates to a photographer's career. A photo is now available on iPads. So that's right. I don't know if I just missed the email or missed the memo, but a photo is available on iPads. I am so excited about this. Not many people are talking about it yet, so I figured I'm gonna make a video and show you exactly what I'm talking about. The fact that a photo, photo retouching is now available on the iPads is a game changer. That means you can take your iPad on the go now, edit these bangers and get them out there. If this is your first time here on my channel, my name is Josh, I'm a professional portrait and wedding photographer, and my goal is to help photographers like you grow and make a successful photography business. If you find this video helpful, please make sure you hit that subscribe button or the thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. Also, leave me a comment and let me know where you're watching from. Now, I have tried it just a little bit to make sure that it works and everything. I did notice a few things that I wanna talk about, but overall, let's jump into it. I'm gonna show you right now. So like I said, it is here for the taking, here for the making, here for the banger making. Let's just get right into it. You have three options now. You can import from files, you can import from your actual photos on your iPad, or you can tether shoot. Now I'm gonna make a completely different video about tether shooting with this because I think that's going to seriously be a game changer as well. I'm gonna import from photos. I'm gonna bring in a photo from a recent wedding, which was Kayla's wedding, my assistant in the studio, and we're gonna edit this on the iPad to see exactly how well it works. Okay, so we have our photo here. Now the first thing that I notice is there's a couple things missing from the Avoto mobile, the iOS version, the iPad version, and the desktop, the MacBook version that I typically use. There's no masking, so there's no Band-Aid on it. Uh, also, the background tab is missing, so there's no background editing right now that I noticed. So those are the two main things that I noticed. There's also no masking in the color palette, the editing palette. I don't know if Avoto is just having an issue with the masking options or if they're still working on that. I just noticed right now it's not on here. Now, let me preface this also by saying I'm not being paid to make this video. Uh, yes, I am sponsored by Avoto. I have made paid sponsored videos in the past. This one's all because I think this is seriously incredible. So let's, like I said, get into it and I'm going to show you how easy it is, how quick it is. And this, like I said, this is this is amazing for, for on the go portrait editors. So color palette, it looks very similar and I'm not gonna go through every single page or every single slider like I would on some of my other videos. You guys have already seen a photo in action. I just wanna show you that it is incredible and it works on iPad. So as you can see, I can bring these sliders up. Let's bring the shadows up a little bit. That way we got a little bit coming in more on that side of the face. We'll bring the highlights down just a little. I don't want it that bright. And there we go. Just those settings. I mean, you can go through here. You can change the HSL if you want. You can change the detail, the grain, the color calibration. I'm going to go back up here to basic, though, and I'm going to add a little bit of blue back into this. There we go. So let's go into portrait editing just like we would. We're going to click that little face on the right-hand side. All of the sliders are here. I haven't noticed any of them that is missing. I mean, we can go in here. We can do makeup. We can do all sorts of stuff. Now, where would I use this? I would use this on the go for like a same day edit or a quick edit or something that I wanna get on social media real quickly. And I don't wanna wait until I get home and edit or into the studio and edit when I wanna just do this in the parking lot. Now, I have the iPad Pro 12.9 inch with data. So I could actually get done with a session, import the photo, and then edit and upload before I even leave a parking lot or before I even leave the shoot. This is this is awesome. So let's go ahead. We'll go freckle and acne removal just to smooth that face up a little bit. We will go body blemish remover. And let's go on down here. There's no real face shine on this photo. We'll go ahead and add it a little bit. We will fix those smile lines just a little. No lip and wrinkle flakes, but we'll go ahead and add it just because... Uh, neck wrinkle, we'll get rid of that. And then we will bring in that double chin. She doesn't have a double chin, but we're gonna bring that in. I always add the double chin slider because it actually kind of just adds a shadow and I like that. We will go with an armpit touch up. Armpits look fine in this photo. And then we're gonna go down here into skin retouching. Let's smooth the face. Let's smooth the body. And then we'll come down here. And what I did with the smooth face skin, I did the dodge and burn one. I did not do the face skin smoothing. I feel like that gives like this weird plastic look to my photos. 
so I didn't use that one. All right, we're gonna go on down. We're gonna go AI Unify Facial Complexion, and we're gonna AI Unify Body Complexion, and there we go. Maybe a little bit of rosy complexion on her. She's a little on the pasty side. Sorry, Kayla. And there we go. That is how I'd edit this photo. Look at that. From this photo right here to this photo right here in a Voto Mobile. Is that what we're calling it? Are we calling it Evoto Mobile? Egoto? Like, you know, go. Evoto, Egoto, Evogo, Evogo? Evoto. We'll just leave it at Evoto. I'm not I'm not in charge of changing the name of it. Um, this is this is awesome. I can't believe that we have these options. We can go in here and we can crop it. Go ahead and crop it to a 16.9. And look at that. There we go. This photo is ready for social media then. I could go ahead and post this from this image to this image. It's, it's, it's crazy. I'm excited for this. Is there an undo button? Does anybody see an undo button? Okay, go back. I do not. You could reset. So we could go in here to this crop and we could reset the crop and go original. But I don't see a, an undo button. There's not like a control or a command Z like there would be. Now, I don't have my keyboard hooked up to this. I'm just using the iPad itself right now. So maybe there is an option if I maybe I could command Z it. But I don't see like if I was just using my pen on the go, I don't see that option. Let's go ahead and let's edit one more photo from this. I'm going to bring in a, kind of an up close so we can see really see what it's doing. Okay, so here is another photo. We're going to edit this one and we're going to see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and let's go into the color correction section. Bring it up just a little. Let's bring those shadows up just a little. Now let's bring the contrast up just a little. There we go. Look at that. Already getting there. Nothing else I'd really change. Uh, HSL looks good. I wouldn't really mess with the colors too much. I think it. I think it's good. So let's go down here into portrait, and we'll run through my process, which is the same that I do. I start at the top. I just start working my way all the way down until I feel like the photo is good, ready to go. So. That's what we're going to do. We are going to go into facial and acne remover. We're going to go body blemish remover. Even though there isn't much body showing, I still want to do that. Let's bring some of that facial shine out of there. And if you need to see like the before and after, just hold your finger down on your iPad and you'll be able to see it. You can see the difference. No forehead wrinkles. Uh, a couple little eye wrinkles there. So we'll go ahead. Dark circle remover and eye bags. Let's get rid of those eye bags. Here we go. Smile lines are good. We'll just kind of smooth them just a little. Uh, lip wrinkle eye flakes. Let's get rid of the lip wrinkles neck wrinkle and the double chin So as you can see Kayla does not have a double chin, but I like to add that in there just to make sure we're gonna go skin retouching and We'll go the dodge and burn like I said, which is gonna blend all that together We're gonna blend the body skin and then we're gonna AI unify the face and AI unify the body complexion Let's go back just a little with that now if I wanted to I could add some skin tone to her and then bring this down just a little. We'll go on down a little bit. Let's go ahead and let's play with the eyes a little bit in this one. So we will go ahead and we will add in some brightness. And as you notice, when I add in that brightness, it brings up that sub menu, the iris flare and the sclera and all of that. So let's go ahead and add an iris flare in there. Bring the scleras down. We don't need those super bright. Remove red veins. Let's remove some of those red veins in there. And then if we wanted to add a fake catch light, we could. Let's go ahead and add this catch light right here. So makeup, her makeup was on point. But as you can see, like I said, there's not as many options as there usually is. So we'll go ahead and bring the contour up a little. Eyebrow makeup looks good. We could darken it or lighten it if we want. We're going to leave it right about where it is. Eye makeup amount. We'll bring the eye makeup in. We'll bring some saturation in. Give her some smoky eyes. Lip makeup. Her lip makeup was like absolutely on point. So no need for that. Hair. Let's go in here, let's fill that part line and remove some stray hairs here. Let's just crop it here. And let's crop it to a nine by 16 or 16 by nine. Switch that, zoom out. Figure out this sweet spot here. And boom, that photo is ready to go on social media. From this photo right here to this photo right here, ready to go. If you don't wanna crop it, you don't have to. That's just my thing. We'll crop it down a little bit here and just get her a little more centered. And there you go. Got yourself a photo. Export that bad boy. Get it on your social media. Make some bangers and honestly, make some money. Like I said, I'm here to help you grow and become more successful as a photographer. Evoto, 
You nailed it on this one. If you haven't tried Avoto or if you want to try Avoto, I have a link down in the description down below to get you some free credits. If you use that link, it helps me out too. It gives me a little kickback, so I appreciate it. Once again, thank you. If this video did help you though, maybe consider watching this one right here because I think this one might help you out as well. I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.